Hold on. It's gonna be called the what? Yes, right. What's up? All right. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. That's right, like the video. What's up, everybody? It's a Saturday. For those of you watching the video on the day I actually uploaded it, because you have your notifications on, you just click the like button, the notification bell is right next to it. Thank you for checking it out, bro. The Nintendo Switch Pro rumors have been on fire, bro. And that's an understatement right now. We have the leak date saying that it's supposed to come mid-2020. But one very important detail that everyone has missed is the name of the console. We've been calling it the Pro, but... When you really think about it, that's not what it's going to be called. We derive Pro because of the PlayStation 4 Pro. Just because we had one system with a Pro name that I can remember off the top of my head right now. Because we had the PlayStation 4 Pro and it was an incremental upgrade. We automatically are calling this the Switch Pro. But when you check Nintendo's track record, you get a clearer picture of what the name is going to be. Let's start. Let's begin. Where it all started. The NES. And I'm low-key just showing y'all my Nintendo console collection. But we're getting to the Switch Pro. That's what you're calling it the Nintendo Entertainment System. Why did Nintendo call it an entertainment system? Because of the video game crash of 1983. Nintendo's like, we don't want to just call it a video game console <coughs> because video game consoles have a negative connotation. So they included a robot, Rob the Robot, and they called it an entertainment system your go-to device. They had it look modern and sleek. Well, in 1985, this was modern and sleek. They called it the Nintendo Entertainment System. What we still call today, the NES. Classic name, this, what, you, what I just showed y'all was by uh, Mario Duck Hunt Track Meat um, Bundle. I got as a kid for my birthday, I was lit. And so, if we go from what Nintendo did, there to the next system you had the NES the Nintendo Entertainment System what's better than an NES a Super NES they kept the same name but they added super to it it was clear for a kid who is the best hero? We're all men. Superman. Superman. Shoot lasers. Jump over tall buildings. Faster than a speeding bullet. Superman. A Super Nintendo. Bro. I had to have a Super Nintendo. And really, the Super Nintendo was perfect. All of the best NES games, but better. Instead of Mario, Super Mario. Instead of Metroid, Super Metroid. Instead of Punch Out, Super Punch Out. It made sense. It was clear. The controller, look, even the controllers D pads, A and B buttons. But the Super Nintendo just added stuff, bro. Two more buttons, bro. Forget the plan. Nothing at the top controller. We got buttons at the top now. 
Nintendo started the shoulder buttons. Everybody else copied. And so, the Super Nintendo, we went from the Nintendo to the Super Nintendo. The name made sense. And then this is when Nintendo went downhill with their naming of their consoles. Not downhill with their consoles, in my opinion. But we went from <coughs> the Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64. <laughs> Nintendo changed it up, bro. Nintendo changed it up, bro. Now, this is one area I give Sony credit. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. <laughs> if they come out with one more console next generation, I bet anybody watching this video is going to be the PlayStation 6. It works. Numbers works. It's a clear understanding. Nintendo went from the Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64. Why did they call it the 64? Because this was when Nintendo was going for power. Little kids watching this video, I know this seems crazy to you. I know you're like, what? What? Is this the same Nintendo? Nintendo used to make the most powerful consoles. You wanna know one of the reasons why this sold? Because we ain't never seen nothing like Mario before, bro. We never seen games looking this good, bro. The Atari 7800 couldn't compete with this. Bro, the games, as far as competition is between this and the Sega Genesis, the games look so good. And so Nintendo's like, we're turning it up, bro. We're skipping 32. The reason why this had a 64 on the front, because the wave was 32-bit, bro. You went from 8-bit to 16-bit to 30. They were just doubling the bits. And so 32-bit, the PlayStation 1, 32-bit. Nintendo's like, oh, we're going to let y'all know we got the big dog. They put the power of the console right in the title. What's that dude's name? He was low-key like a gangster. Um, the president before Iwata. Um, I know his name. I, I see his face right now. The old guy with the glasses. Bro, Nintendo was like, we are going to give y'all the best gaming experience. Yes, it had a flaw. It had a cartridge. All right, we're not talking about the specs. We're talking about the names. The Nintendo 64. One thing you see from this point on, there's a break in conventional naming. NES, Super NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64. No real relation to its predecessor. Nintendo was more so focusing on what was going on at the time rather than connecting their systems. There's a disconnect. You don't believe me? Let's go from the, Super, the Nintendo 64 to the next console. The GameCube. Oh, my, con my console's console's so dusty. The little lunchbox that could, bro. Nintendo had portability in mind. <coughs> with no screen, bro. It had a handle, bro. Why? It's a square. A cube. They called it... And really, it wasn't a cube. It's more of a rectangle when you really think about it. The GameCube. No rhyme or reason to the naming of this console. <laughs> it looks like a cube. Let's call it the GameCube. No connection. There's no connection, Nintendo. You're missing the connection. How are we to connect the dots as the gamers? Oh, it gets even worse. We went from the GameCube. <laughs> oh, back. The Wii. Again, Nintendo wasn't worried about so much connecting the systems to let's be innovative, let's be different. What do you feel like when you're swinging and motion aim? Wii, this is fun. Wii, let's call it the Wii. Wii, W-E, we could play together the Wii. 
Now, the name of this console had no bearing on its success. It was successful because it was so different. This is the controller, bro. Is this a TV remote or a controller? Let's call it the Wiimote. You see no connection from the GameCube to the Wii in the names. And then Nintendo tried their best to connect the next two and failed so hard. Oh man. This is the mark of my true Nintendo gamers, bro. The Wii U! If you were rocking with Nintendo during the Wii U era, you got my props, bro. I felt like I was by myself with the Wii U. I was hyping up that Wii U, bro. The only one. Wii U. Nintendo tried their best to connect the two. The Wii U could even play the Wii peripherals. Peripherals. Couple of reasons why this tank. A big reason was the name. I already have a Wii. Is this just an attachment? An accessory to my Wii? I said this before. And I just said this in another video. This shouldn't have been a next gen this. This should have been an iterative. It should have been in the same generation. How? You had the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 4 Pro. The Wii U should have been in the same generation with the Wii and should have came out about three years earlier than it did. When the Wii was at its prime selling like crazy, that's when this should have dropped, played the same exact games, but with higher fidelity. The Wii U name would have made perfect sense if that were the case. This should have been in the same generation as the Wii. But Nintendo waited way too late when the Wii hype died down. Confusing name. And there was no momentum behind the Wii U. They tried to connect it. But the connection was confusing. Confusing connection. And this brings me to the Switch. And where I think Nintendo's going with the Switch's name. If it's going to be called a Switch Pro. This is why I say the Switch Pro is a no-go. 3DS. Just look to what Nintendo just did. Last generation. 3DS. New 3DS. New 3DS. No, even before the new 3DS. We had the 3DS. 3DS XL. Then we had a new 3DS. New 3DS XL. I'm um, excuse me, game game stop employee. Um I'm a 62-year-old grandmother and I wanna buy a new 3DS for my son, my grandson, but I don't want a new one. I want an old one. Oh we have old new 3D. No, you keep saying new. I want a used one. But it is, it's old, but it's called a new 3 No, I'm leaving the store. Video game names are too confusing. Nintendo was creative. Tried to be creative with the naming of the 3DS. Bruh, it got so confusing. Nintendo actually stepped back a name with their new console. Only Nintendo! What if Sony called their next generation console the PlayStation 3? That makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. Why would you reduce a number for your next system? Nintendo says, oh, we got y'all. You have a 3DS? How about a 2DS? Because 2 is greater than 3 in nobody's brain. Nintendo named a newer in a newer year a newer model of the 3ds a 2ds who names nintendo's console 
And so, with the Nintendo Switch, is it going to be called the Switch Pro? I think there is a small chance this thing is going to be, it's going to have a Pro attached to it. I even look to you guys for help. Are you guys following me on Twitter? Make sure you're following me on Twitter at ob one place. That's how you get in the giveaway anyway. Subscribe to this YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. I tweeted out on Twitter, Nintendo Switch Pro names, what you got? And this is what you guys gave me. Bucks! Shout out to the homie Bucks. New Nintendo Switch. Very possible, bro. <laughs> A new Nintendo Switch. Don't go to GameStop and ask for a used Nintendo Switch. Because they're going to try to sell you a new one. Alright. Super Switch. <laughs> I know where you guys are going. Nintendo Switch XXL. Dude asked me, can I run with you on the park? I already got six dudes I run with. Nintendo Switch Deluxe. Super Switch, the Switch Deluxe, Nintendo Switch Plus. Let me go through y'all names and I'm going I'm to tell y'all why this is crazy. Nintendo Switch 2, that would be a next-gen console. Switch 4K, Super Switch, simple, Nintendo Switch Plus. Skull Riker, you're on to something. 4K Switch, Nintendo Switch Lite XLU. <laughs> New Switch, Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch Plus, Nintendo Switch Home, Switch XL, Nintendo Switch 64, Nismatics, I could kiss you right now, Nintendo Switch Pro XL Series M, <laughs> for Mario, <laughs> Nintendo kills us with the names, Nintendo fans even know, Nintendo trolls us with the names, this dude said the Nintendo Switch Up, Switch Force, Switch Power, Nintendo Power Switch, Nintendo Switch U dot U equals Ultra. The reason why the Switch Blade, my dude said the Switch Blade, Nintendo Switch 2, Nintendo Switch Large Edition. The dude said Nintendo. The reason why pretty much everyone is listing a completely different name is because Nintendo does stuff like this. <laughs> We have no idea what it's going to be called, but I know you clicked on this video to get the Nintendo Switch name. If I was a betting man, there are two names I would go with for this next gen console. And y'all have said it in my Twitch response. Nintendo. So I'm putting it up right now. Nintendo Switch Plus is one. I think it might be Nintendo Switch Plus. This is going to be crazy for YouTubers and SEO search because of that plus at the end. Nintendo Switch Plus. It's simple. It's a Nintendo Switch Plus. Plus indicates there's something a little extra with this Nintendo Switch Plus makes sense if it's going to be iterative a small incremental upgrade one thing Nintendo cannot do with this console is leave behind the over 40 million Nintendo Switch current they're not going to switch split the market some games can play on this system some games can play Switch Plus play the same games it's just gonna be a little extra the only other name I could think of that makes sense 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 that if Nintendo were to do this it would be easy to understand um, by gamers but there's one caveat to this it depends on the power of the system Dr. Sir Ken Toto said He's predict. This is more so his speculation, not based on what he's heard. Um, heard that it might have 4K capability. If that's the case, I'm going Nintendo Switch 4K. Why? Same exact games, but the frame rate would be better. 
and the games run in 4K. And so Nintendo Switch 4K. So somebody walks into GameSpot. I keep calling GameSpot GameStop. Somebody walks into GameStop and it's simple. Oh, there's a Nintendo Switch and there's a 4K Switch. I have a 4K TV. Let me get that Nintendo Switch 4K for $800. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about <laughs> the naming of the Nintendo Switch? What do you think Nintendo is going to call their system? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.